All right, man, let's talk about uh, <clears throat> the Lions apparently applied an application for New Jersey. Uh, there's been some rumors about what the Jersey County is going to look like. Now, apparently, uh, what kind of sparked this debate, it came from a, a, a NFL forum, but also the Lions, this is their last year. Well, this could be their last. Well, we could already seen them wear this version of a home jersey. They this current version of their home jersey for the last time. Um, even if they get in the playoffs, you know, more than likely they won't host a home game. Um, but yeah, this could be the you know, we might have already seen them in a current lap. This <laughs> we may have already seen them, the last of them wearing this current home jersey for a while because I think they're wearing throwbacks at, uh, Sunday. Uh, the Thanksgiving throwbacks with the blue and the silver, with the nut without no logo on the silver, whatever. So, on the helmet, excuse me. So, but check out the Trey Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Players mess up too. Players mess up too. But uh, yeah, we might see them. So you might have already seen them, seen this jersey for for a while. You know, as far as the the current jerseys, they cool. They all right. It could be a lot better now. Apparently, they was eligible to get new jerseys after. After last season, they could have got new jerseys. Rob Wood said they're gonna wait, and apparently it's supposed to be a massive overhaul. And my feeling, and I spoke on this before. I don't know if on this channel or my main channel, but check out my main channel, Good Feeling TV. And I feel, dude, the jerseys of today is trash. I mean, shit, the sneakers of the day is trash. The current sneakers, all the best ones is ones we used to be wearing when we was growing up. You know what I'm saying? Or you know, before our generation, it's top tens and all that. You know. K Swiss and yeah, remember we used to rock the conies and stuff. They ain't even how it's pronounced, but yeah, we used to call. Remember the nineties, the conies was hot for a second. New balances and all that. So, um, um, but but yeah, the jerseys suck. You know, the jerseys of the day, man. The new creativity of the day, man. It sucks. And they really need to tap in with independent designers and the 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 youth and the and the new generation. You know what I'm saying and. Um, even the, the movies, you know, the, the original, is, the new original is the remake. The remake is the new original. So, but yeah, man, it's sucking. I don't, I ain't really like the, you know, the, the jersey is fine. I got a gray one. I got a gray Stafford jersey. Or had one, wherever it's at. And I ain't like, man, I mean, cool. It's straight, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I like the colors or the Barry Sanders. It seemed like they just refused to match that blue. That blue that the 90s jersey that Barry was wearing and all that, they refused to match that. That's kind of the blue and silver they should be going for. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, it's you know, these jerseys better than the than the black outline jerseys. Dude, I can stand them joints. The black outline joints that had like the like the black and blue ones was the best ones. But then again, we look like the Carolina Panthers and shit. <laughs> you know, but uh But uh but yeah, apparently this new jersey is supposed to be a hybrid between the jerseys they wear Saturday. I mean Sunday. I'm still stuck on last week. The jerseys they wear in Sunday, which are the throwback uh Lions jerseys. Um, the Billy Sims ones, the Thanksgiving ones without the logo, and it's supposed to be from what I read. This is rumor about the design, strictly pure speculation. It's supposed to be, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's supposed to be uh, the hybrid between the Billy Sims and the Barry Sanders ver version of the jersey. So, with a new updated Lions logo. So. That is a pure speculation rumor. Don't say, oh, the jersey come out and it look like Tony the Tigers from Frost and Flake Box. Ah, oh, CJ lied to it. Nah. Disclaimer, pure rumor. And I, at the end of the day, that should be fire. Low key. Low key, that should be hella fire, bro. But I love the 90s jersey. I just love the colors. It seems like it's impossible to feel them match that blue. I think Starter made them, Reebok made them jerseys back in the day. I think. I could be wrong. But Nike, man, they jersey trash. I mean, who you think got the best jerseys in the league? And I ain't talking about throwback. I mean, you know, just pure regular jerseys. Probably still the Chargers, the Raiders. It's hard to mess up the Raiders and the Chargers jerseys. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just not what you envision when you envision, um, when you envision, um,
when you envision, um, you know, just new age, you know, new age, sleek technology and jerseys and stuff. But, uh, but yeah, I think you cool. You know, if they stuck with these jerseys, I wouldn't be mad. But it's always good to see them have more alternates and stuff. I didn't know the Pistons was the first NBA team with alternate jerseys. You know, they they be short the Pistons on homage, boy, don't they? They was the Pistons. They never let Isaiah get on Detroit. They punished us in the draft for plenty of years for that. So, you know, that's wild. That's wild. You know? But, um, well, yeah, he's cool. You know, so they eligible to upgrade. I wonder what the design look like. I mean, I let the Pistons green St. Cecilia jerseys. They straight. You know, um, you know, the teal jersey still is fire. You know, obviously the the bad boy jersey is the best one in the 80s. You know, they, they just, you know what I'm saying, just the higher thing laid on them. But then for me, it's the teal jersey. And I love the burgundy ones, too. Yeah, I like the burgundy ones, too. So, um, but yeah, but, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm liking I see what they do. Hopefully they come out with, like, four versions of them. No, uh, not we gonna wear white pants with white and white and blue. They just come out with four great versions. I mean, one in a hole, two a home, a row, and an alternate. And they should have one, you know, special alternate that they wear. That's what they should do. But it's supposed to be a complete overhaul, bare minimum, and um, you know. But oh, the overall design of jerseys and stuff has been. It's been trash. You know, shoes, trash. But y'all looking forward to these jerseys. I'll buy one if they start winning. The, 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 when they were all white with these jerseys, that shit was hard, though. When they go into the all white, it's always hard. Like the all white Michigan, when they do that every now and again, that shit hard. So when they go all blue in Michigan, it's hard. So we'll see. But it just seems like it's not the same blue. Maybe it's the television. But it ain't the same blue that Barry, Barry and them wore. So, it ain't the same blue in my opinion. But hopefully they can match that blue up and that silver up. Ooh. You know, maybe Barry just made it look that good. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out the Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop a video financially. If you want to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree, find me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor Cash at Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, the whole nine. Which is Spotify, I'm sorry, man. I'll see y'all. Happy New Year's. Peace.